How's it going everybody? Welcome back to all my subs and hello to all the new people just finding my channel. Today we're going to go over how to break down the upper slide on a SIG 228 or 229 on my M11A1. I wanted to do this video because I was looking back through some videos that I had saved for a breakdown on the lower of the SIG from the accidental gunsmith and all his videos were deleted. I think that has something to do with the new shit going on with YouTube, um, the demonetization of gun channels and them picking and choosing you know, what they want to promote and not having too much freedom on that. So um, this video goes out there to all the people that were looking for those videos that a lot of them have been deleted. So hopefully this can help somebody out like he helped me. All right, so getting started. You gotta have some kind of block. I can't find my hockey puck, so I made one out of wood real quick to knock the pins out. I use a small brass hammer, and I did order this from Brownells. It is the SIG pin removal tool for the slide. You can see it's cut, file, half of it's filed off so that you can get into those half circle pins inside. And I will be throwing in some wolf springs. That is the recoil spring and the firing pin spring. Both are factory weights. So to get started, as always, safety check. Make sure your firearm's empty. And take the magazine out. This little lever here is your takedown lever. Slide that 90 degrees down. And then your slide will come off. That's the basic way to strip down for, for field cleaning and everything else. For the spring, just put your finger behind the recoil rod, push it forward a little bit and it'll pop out. And you can take your barrel out. And that is to do a quick field strip. That is what you would do to clean it up. And now we will start beating out these pins very carefully. I haven't scratched my finish yet. So hopefully we'll keep it up. So inside, right there, is the first pin we're going to get to. You can see it right there, and that's why, you'll see how half of it's covered up, that's why you need a special tool or the punch that's already filed down. And once we remove that pin, we'll have access on the inside once the extractor's gone to get to the other one. Make sure it's stable. Get your punch and your hammer. And go to town. First one's out. And you can see I got the tool holding the extractor in place. So now we'll slide that out. I'll keep my thumb on the extractor. And you'll see that is now loose and we'll slide out. Be careful because inside the slide there are two springs which will fall out. And the, the small one just goes inside the large one when we're putting that back together. So we'll set these down. And now, it's dirty. But you can see the other pin right there that we're going to knock out now. And I can tell you right away that this is already easier than using a filed punch. And number two fell out. I'll slide that out. And the hard part is pretty much done. To get to the firing pin and the spring, Make sure you put your finger behind it, because once you push this little safety, whatever you call it, down, the firing pin will pop out. And if you don't have something sitting there, it'll shoot out. And make sure 
you realize and pay attention to the slots are up towards the sights when you pull this out. This little guy out. And then you'll see the spring that comes out that makes this spring loaded. And that is basically how you break down your upper slide. I'm going to clean it up and we'll put it back together. She's pretty dirty. This is probably about 2,000 rounds since I took this apart. So everything is cleaned off and we'll start putting everything back together. The first thing will be putting this little safety thing back in. Make sure you remember the way it was when it came out. The half circle will be towards the back with the cutout facing forward. Like that. And then the firing pin, make sure that the cutouts are facing the sights and you have to push that down. Let's see if I can get in there. You'll see how that pushing that down opens up the hole. And that's where you will put the firing pin back in. You have to push it down a little bit farther than the recess. And you'll feel it go in. And then it'll click in and lock when you're done. Now we'll put the first roll pin back in. It's going to be the longer of the two. So we'll start it out in the hole with a couple light taps. You got to be careful with this one. Because you have to push the firing pin forward for it to clear. Because one of the cutouts will rest on this pin. So make sure when you're hammering it in that you have the firing pin pushed as far forward as possible to where it stops so you're not hammering this into the firing pin itself. get it close I'll put another punch which I'll go get right now and I'll finish tapping it in with a punch on top of the pin so that nothing hits the finish so as always I wasn't fully prepared I forgot to get this just a normal punch I don't know what size this is 330 seconds doesn't really matter and then we'll just finish tapping that guy back home One down. You can see it in there. Now I'll just go in there and make sure that the firing pin still pushes in and you're good to go. So real quick I found the bag. This is the punch tool. It's a Sig Sauer E2 slide tool. So to put the extractor back in, I'm just going to put a dab of the XF7 grease. It's my favorite grease that I've tried so far. I have a video up on it, which I'll put down below. And then we'll get the little beehive springs, because it looks like a beehive when you put them together. Just the skinny one goes in the fat one. And see if you can drop them in like that. On a little cutout, I use the back of the cutout to rest them on. Slide the extractor back in so you feel that it has the spring. And we're going to knock the short pin into the top. All right, so I gave a couple taps to this and seated the roll pin. And now we're just going to hammer it back in, putting pressure on the extractor all the way in word in its place
And if at any point when you're hammering, you feel like it's not going in and it's not all the way in, you're probably hitting something and you should be careful and take it apart again. So now it's holding it in and I will do the same thing with the punch to drive it home. And this one does go down inside a little bit. So if you see it go in, don't be afraid. That's the way it's supposed to go. And you'll see it seated on the bottom, nice and clean where it should be. So next is the easy part. And quick note on the roll pins. I've read somewhere that SIG recommends you replace them every time you change them. So, um, if that is correct and you want to follow their guidelines, I recommend that. I change these, I mean, I've cleaned this three times with the same roll pins. I do have an extra set. Um, I'll probably switch them out next time I have to take it apart. So uh, we'll just put the barrel back in, same way you took it out. And same thing with your recoil rod and recoil spring. You'll notice I switched it out to the wolf spring. Just a single coil as opposed to the double spring that's twisted. Um, one of these broke on me a couple videos ago. I put that up to show everybody. So that is a completely put together upper slide with the large extractor or the E2 extractor. Now the easiest part with your takedown lever still down. Just slide the, put the slide on, lock it all the way back with the decock with the slide lock lever. Flip your takedown lever back to normal and let her go. Make sure everything works and you're set. That is how you completely break down the upper slide on a large extractor or E2 extractor, SIG P228 or 229. So as you can see, it wasn't that hard. Um, you just need a punch and a hammer. The punch from Brownells makes it super easy. I, I would recommend spending that 19 bucks, whatever it is, as opposed to making your own punch. Um, you can definitely make your own in the meantime. Um, I made my own block. I've seen people use the armors hockey puck looking things, rolls of tape, um, blocks of cardboard, so I mean whatever you need to do to do get that. I try to clean mine about every 2,000 rounds. So that's how you do it. It's nice and easy. Thanks for joining in. I appreciate your guys' time and remember support your local animal shelters and adopt if you're looking for a new family member. Have a good night guys. Please subscribe down below. Bye.